So I have this email that right now I send out to everybody who purchases the guide and I basically just thank them and then invite them to my Discord server for anybody else that purchased this website. And what I wanna do is automate this process, have this email be automatically generated so that way I don't have to do anything, it just gets sent out and makes my life a whole lot easier. So Python already has a module that can do this for us, but what Django does is it creates a wrapper around that module and we're just gonna use this django.core mail module and use a few functions and classes from that to send this email. And instead of using the send mail one right here, we are actually gonna be using this email message class. So all the class does is allow us to provide the subject line, the body of the email, along with the email that we're gonna use to send this message out and the recipient of the email. So we're just gonna go ahead and build that in and the first thing that I need to do is set up the email backend. So we need to configure this in our settings.py file and we'll go on from there. My settings.py file is already configured because I have this email automatically generated for the password reset process. So we've already configured this, but we had to set up our email backend, the email host, which we're using Gmail. So it's smtp.gmail.com. I set up the port number to 587 and we have email use TLS, which is set to true. The email host user, this is the email that um, is actually gonna be sending out that email. So I have it go from this email and then it goes to the recipient and then the email host password is the email that um, is the password to that email account. So it basically has to log into my email, send that message out and then the recipient will get it. So I'm gonna build it in right into my success page. So whenever that success page is triggered, that means the, uh, the user has successfully purchased it. I just wanna import a few things and then send that message out. So here I've imported the class right here of email message. We import settings so we can have access to all of those configurations that we made in settings.py. And then I imported render to string, which is essentially gonna grab our template and allow us to send it as a string so it can go into the email body instead of an HTML template. So we're actually gonna build in that template, which I created in my templates file right here. Right now it's empty, but it's called email underscore template.html. We're gonna throw that into render.string or render to string, and then that's gonna be our email body. So I'm gonna set email to that email class and we're gonna pass in the parameters. So we're gonna throw in the subject and the body right now. My email message class is ready right now. We have our subject, the body, and this email host user, which we get from our settings.py file. So that's the email that we're gonna send from. And then the recipient, this has to be in a list so we can actually send it to multiple people at once. And I'm gonna configure all of this into that dynamic value. So our body is the template and the recipient is the logged in user. Okay, so here's the template. Here's the message with that link to the Discord server and the name is gonna be passed in dynamically. So this is where render to string can actually take in a context dictionary like we normally do with the view and uh, we're just gonna pass in the name. This is the, this is the email the user is gonna see. So let's use render to string and get that taken care of. So render to string just took in our app name right here, the email template, and then that context dictionary right here. So we queried the request.user.profile, and then I got the first name, and I can change our subject to the actual message I wanna send, and then our template can just replace body. So now what we're gonna do is render this to a string with that formatting, send that subject line, and then we're gonna send it to that user, and then the recipient, we also want to set to the email that's actually dynamic. So let's set that. And that's just gonna be the user's email. So far, we're looking good. What I need to do now is in my template, change that PayPal link so it's a sandbox account. So I don't actually have to make a purchase, but I'll create an account really quickly. Uh, we'll make the payment and we'll make sure that I get that email uh, in the new inbox. 
Okay, so the link is updated. What I wanna do now is create the account and use a different email and see if that purchase works. Okay, so I've just registered. We're gonna go to unlock a module. Because I'm logged in, I should get prompted for the PayPal link. Let's go ahead and just use PayPal directly. And right now, because I am using the Sandbox account, I am gonna use the demo account that I created with PayPal. So we'll log in, we'll confirm that purchase and uh, see if we get that email. So I'm gonna do that from my phone. So I'm gonna start recording as I purchase this and we'll see if we get that confirmation email. So I'm gonna hit pay. Perfect, so there we go. We have the email, I'll open that up. There's the template, so hi Dennis, we just threw in that name dynamically. There's the link to the Discord server and we are now set. So uh, last thing I need to do, I'm not gonna show it in this video, is push the, the website live so you guys can now get this email and to anybody that hasn't received it, I'm gonna go ahead and manually just send those out. Um, there's been a few purchases since then that I haven't sent out, so I'll make sure you guys get those and um, I'll add a few more things to this website. So let me know if you guys wanna keep seeing me uh, build out the site and uh, fix little things like this and just document my entire process as I build out codewithsteps.com.